Bánh xèo, also known as crispy Vietnamese pancake, crepe, or sizzling cake, is a famous street food widely believed to originate in France during its occupation of Vietnam. The word xèo depicts the sizzling sound when pouring the rice butter into the hot skillet. This Vietnamese pancake has a yellow outer layer and is filled with boiled pork strips, shrimp, bean sprouts, and spring onion. Though some people might prefer to use chopsticks to eat bánh xèo directly, but the best way to enjoy it is by eating it with your hands. First, take a piece of bánh xèo and put it on the rice paper. Add fresh vegetables that are always served with the dish. There are a lot of vegetables to choose from, but lettuce, Vietnamese perilla, basil, and bean sprouts are the most common, and roll them tightly. With each bite, don't forget to dip the roll into the sauce. I'm sure that right after the first bite, the impressive taste of crunchy crust, savory fillings, and sweet and sour dipping sauce will definitely make you fall in love with this delicacy. Besides, the sauce is a perfect blend of spices, including fresh sauce, sugar, lime juice, garlic, and chili, while the herbs have eliminated greasy taste. Each region across this S-shaped country has its own unique ingredients and flavors to make bánh xèo become one of its specialties. In the southern region, the bánh xèo is the size of a large dish and yellow in color due to the employment of turmeric powder. The southern people always add coconut milk to the rice flour to make the crepe extra delicious. The crepe is stuffed with bean sprouts, mung beans, shrimp, and pork. A sweet and sour fish sauce and fresh vegetables are used as accompaniments. In the central region, bánh xèo cooks make a smaller crepe that is white in color. In Hue, the crepes are called bánh khoai, which is similar to bánh xèo but smaller in size and stuffed with fennel, sour stuff fruit, green banana, and a thick soy sauce. In addition to selling the crepes to patrons, vendors also prepare them in mass for birthday parties and festivals. Northern preparations of bánh xèo are similar to those down south but include special fillings like Indian taro or manioc slices. In some regions, bánh xèo is prepared thick, but southern crisps are characteristically thin, crispy, and served fresh out of the frying pan. The secret to extra thin crisps is a deep frying pan and a quick burst to coat the frying pan with the butter before it starts to set. Perhaps because of those differences, Vietnamese people and foreign visitors may find it hard to resist the attraction of a crispy, messy, but colorful combination, all of which can set it up and sell. So, are you ready to enjoy one of the Vietnamese specialties?